Good evening. Studies have shown that across the globe, many households are unfamiliar with the most basic economic concepts needed to make savings and investment decisions. I am Shadi Mudisi, your guest presenter tonight on First Issues. In a report carried out by Visa in 2006, 53% of American parents agree that their child thinks money grows on trees. 76% of parents said that the high school student does not have a budget. Some commentators have labeled Botswana as a highly consumerist society. Could lack of information on various aspects of personal financial planning, such as planning for your retirement, investing for your child's education, and having a cushion for emergencies, be attributed to low levels of financial literacy? According to a FinScope survey, carried out in 2009, Botswana household loans from commercial banks reached 60%. Only one third of this went towards housing. This percentage excludes micro-lending borrowings. A mere 18% of de bank deposits went to household savings. 59% of adults are doing nothing to save for retirement. Despite the need, to be more financially prudent, in 2009, abandoned funds from commercial banks amounted to 9.4 million bula, further compounding the individual's ability to be self-sustaining. Some sources put Botswana's unemployment figures at 37%. The government's Ipelechem program, a labor-intensive initiative aimed at alleviating poverty, has unemployment figures dipping to 19%. First Issues discusses financial literacy with Sotswana Ngobe of First National Bank of Botswana. We begin with a definition of this term. Financial literacy is the understanding of basic money principles. And by basic I mean savings, investments, the day-to-day -day management of your your finances, the management of your levels of debt, and having this kind of um, understanding allows you to make informed decisions about your financial well-being. But what does having an understanding of financial literacy really mean? By understanding, I mean if you have somebody who's financially literate, gets published that interest rates are being reduced, they will understand the consequences of that on their financial position. What are the levels of financial literacy in Botswana? Mr. Tapela Taole, a financial markets consultant, responds. The level of financial literacy in the country is still very minimum. And it's still very low. I think that is the general impression I get when we do some involvement in some uh, marketing of uh, Botswana Stock Exchange uh, uh, products and also when I give general uh, lectures in some seminars and workshops around the country. A similar assessment is made by Ms. Ngope. Um, the levels of financial literacy go hand in hand with the level of development within the financial services industry. So I would say we're getting there because there is a lot of awareness that there is a need to do something about increasing levels of financial literacy within the general public. I'd also say somewhat, the lack of financial education within the school curriculum has also added to, to the level of financial illiteracy. But how do Botswana rate themselves in terms of financial literacy? A lot of Botswana majority, in fact, says that they have never been taught about anything about finance or financial services or financial literacy. Uh, either from school or through their years, unless they have done subjects which have much to do with, with the subject matter being uh, financial literacy. So that is the, the general comment about them, about the, 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 the whole subject of financial literacy. What are the typical signs of financial illiteracy? The high level of consumerism. So the tendency to just spend, spend, spend and not think about tomorrow. That is a sign of financial illiteracy. I'd also say the high levels of debt. Because somebody who understands that 
excessively high levels of debt have a detrimental effect on their cash flow, will not indulge in such high levels of debt. They will make a conscious decision to make sure that they are living within their means. Financial illiteracy affects the individual negatively. It also takes a toll on the country as a whole. I think we are losing a lot as a, as, a, as, a, as a country and as individuals also, not only as a country. Because, you know, financial literacy, it involves a lot of, a lot of things. It involves people failing to plan ahead. It involves people failing to understand the significance of things like the national budget, uh, apart from looking forward for a, a salary increment, because that is what a lot of people only look forward for. It involves a majority of the people taking financial risks without realizing it. So as a country, we are losing a lot. For example, if you look at the level of indebtedness of Botswana as a percentage of GDP, you realize that the household debt uh, is about 12.5% relative to the, BD, to the GDP. Uh, compared to South Africa, it have got a, a, a huge GDP, but uh, if you look at the, the debt to ratio to GDP, it's about 7%. It, it can show you that with a small population we had, I think the figures are not in, in our favor. Of course, a lot of, a, a lot of uh, uh, things are in South African favor because of things like the, the Credit Act. Which, which, which makes the figures far much better for them. But we tend to lose a lot because, you know, for, for development to go forward, you need a set of minimum financial literacy, which I, I, I alluded to be um, uh, the key role of a number of uh, players involved in the industry. Transact, score goals, and stand in line to win tickets with FMB to the 2010 FIFA World Cup courtesy of Visa. Score four goals with a combination of four transactions per goal. Get an FMB debit or credit card to score one goal. You can also transact online. Transact at any FMB ATM. Or purchase goods and swipe. Big with FMB thanks to Visa. FMB, how can we help you? Clearly, countries stand to gain from a financially savvy population. The challenge then is achieving this ideal. What does it take to create a financially literate nation? And whose responsibility is it? It's going to take time and a lot of financial investment because. First of all, you need some kind of research needs to be done in order to understand the public's general attitude towards money and the management of their finances. It's from understanding that attitude that anything can actually be done about it. It's from a research like that that we can understand the levels of financial illiteracy so that we can know exactly what needs to be done, what interventions need to be done. It cut across the, the, the industry. It is the responsibility of my mainly financial industry players, including Botswana Stock Exchange, banks, insurance companies, unit trust, and also to some extent, Ministry of Education. And uh, if I'm to, to go further and explain that, as, as the Botswana Stock Exchange, we have done a lot in terms of educating Botswana about that uh, aspects of the financial uh, knowledge that we are responsible for, that is shares. The shares going around the country, teaching Botswana what is a share, how do you invest in stock market, both in English and Botswana. We've also participated in a lot of uh, conferences, and I have also had the, the, the pleasure to participate in, the, in a validation process in the Minister of uh, Finance, whereby they were, they were actually drawing up a curriculum for certificate in business studies and also for foundation level uh, business studies. And also one of the things we, 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 we emphasized on is that they need to, to incorporate or we made sure that they incorporated